In today's video, I'm gonna take you through my November monthly sales figures to show you how I'm tracking as a full-time online reseller. It's been three months now that I've been full-time and I really wanna be transparent with you guys and bring you my numbers on a monthly basis. And hopefully it helps motivate and inspire you out there to do the exact same thing. If you wanna scale your business to be a full-time reseller, well, that's exactly what I'm trying to do right here on the channel. And I wanna document and bring across everything that comes along with that. So if you're into reselling by any means, hit the subscribe button, give this video a like, and let me know in the comments below, I have subscribed. It'd be great to connect with you guys. I do reply to all of my comments. But in today's video, I'm gonna go through my gross revenue figures. I'm gonna go through all my fees. I'm gonna show you the numbers of inventory that I've had to buy to get the sales results. And then I'll bring you my paycheck once you've taken out the taxes as well. So a lot of numbers in today's episode, but hopefully you get motivated, inspired by watching this video. Uh, let me know in the comments and also give the video a like if you get anything out of it. Uh, let's get into it. I'm gonna kick things off with my gross revenue for the month of November. Let's get into it. So if we kick things off with the gross revenue for the month of November, I've actually gone ahead and sold 152 items this month, which was an increase of about 38 from last month. My total revenue was $7,043.29. Now that was everything. That was revenue that just came in. That included postage, it included the fees, and it included the cost of goods. So $7,000 money in, and my average sale price from that, which doesn't include postage, I will add, is $39.94. So I think in the past couple of months, that's been sort of low 40s, so that has come down by a couple of dollars, uh, but the total revenue has increased by about $1,500. Uh, the cost of goods that resulted in that $7,000 worth of sales resulted in $1,540. So my profit margin at the end of the day is 72%. Um, so gross revenue this month was really, really good. I was really happy with it. Went up about $1,500 on what it was last month. I think Black Friday and Cyber Monday sales to end the month had a really big impact on getting these numbers up. Um, really happy to see the growth um, and increase there of about, I think it was around 12 to 13% in overall revenue, uh, which was awesome. Um, the average sale price, like I said, that dropped a little bit, but I think that was due to the fact that I didn't sell as much furniture. This month is what I normally have in the past and I've sold a lot more of the eBay type items. Um, that's grown and the furniture slowly dropped. So that's resulted in the 39.94 average sale price. And then the cost of goods wasn't too bad at 1540. That's been around about where it's always been at, but the profit margin has increased. I've been able to sell $1,540 worth of items for $7,000, which is a whole lot more. It's about two to 3% of a profit margin more than what it has been in the past. So. You've obviously got your gross revenue to look at. The next thing to look at is your total fees. So pulling everything out of that $7,000, it's always part of the game and you do need to be on top of what the fees were. So as you can see here, total fees for the month of November. For eBay, I had $425 worth of fees to pay. Uh, PayPal at 3% of my total sales uh, worked out to be $91.05. Uh, the postage charges went up significantly this month because I have sold a lot more on eBay as opposed to Facebook Marketplace. Uh, so the postage charges was $971.93. So my total fees for the month of November, $1,487. So you gotta pull out that out of the 7,000. And what I will say first of all on fees is that I was able to actually hold the same fees on eBay as I had in the month of October. Yet I was able to sell almost, well, exceedingly double what I sold on eBay in the month of October. And that was solely because of an eBay store purchase that I made at the end of October. I put the investment into buying a store and paying the $25 subscription, but that allowed me to have 600 free listings. And as a full-time reseller, I was really shooting myself in the foot in the month of October by not having a store and paying insertion fees. So while I've been able to sell double on eBay, what's been great is my eBay fees haven't really gone up to what they were in October. Uh, it just goes to show what a bit of a stinker I had in the month of October from a fees perspective. Um, postage obviously in there as well, that needs to come out, but that is always accounted for when a person buys an item. Um, so when you look at the paycheck, um, you've got to take out a few things. You've obviously got the 7,000 from the revenue perspective. Cost of goods was 1,540 and the fees was 1,487. So when you take all of that out, you're left with a profit of $4,014. Now, out of that 4,014, you do need to pay your taxes, and the taxes for that figure for me here in Australia 
worked out to $589. So my take home paycheck for the month of November was $3,425.63. Um, that is to the date in my third month of being full-time, that's my best take-home paycheck. And if you were to look at that figure on a holistic annual front to say, what do you want on an annual basis? Uh, what would your full-time salary be? That 3,425 works out to about 48,000 annually on Australian dollars um, as an annual paycheck. So I've said on this channel quite a lot that I'd really like to hit $50,000 as an annual salary sustainably over continuous months on end. And I'm very, very close now to hitting that first month of a $50,000 a year salary. So um, hopefully December, January, um, you know, we can, we can see the continual growth and we can hit that $50,000. And then I really wanna try and sustain it. But even with a bit of help of Black Friday, Cyber Monday, to get it close and have it sitting at 48,000, um, there's real encouragement there for me. I think if I keep persisting and keep buying items and keep letting it all snowball, uh, the next month and the months down the track, we'll be able to see that $50,000 hit. So uh, I was wrapped to see 7,000 in overall revenue, take the fees to still get $4,000 as a take home paycheck. I know that's not a massive figure, but after just three months of doing it full time, I'm personally really happy about it. And I really wanna bring that number across to you guys out there that are trying to get into reselling, but also trying to scale a reselling business. If you wanna do it full time like myself, I've gone really hard for three months and I've been able to get it from five and a half thousand dollars in sales to six thousand dollars in sales, which might not sound like a lot, but my lowest month is five and a half thousand. So I've been able to sustain that figure for the last three months, which is really, really promising. But it's absolutely possible. I think if we just keep working hard, you keep doing the little things right, you keep listing every day, you keep buying good quality items, you can make this a fifty thousand dollar a year salary. Um, but what I will say, which is going into the next slide, when you make that $48,000 a year, unfortunately, part of this game is you need to continually reinvest back into the business. You need to take that paycheck and you need to put a portion of it, in some cases, as much as you possibly can, back into the business to try and grow it as quick as you possibly can as well. So let's have a quick look at my inventory numbers, the items that I bought throughout the month that haven't necessarily sold, but I've got them sitting there ready for the sales for December and for January. So we'll pull the map up here and I'll show you it here. The items that I purchased for the month of November, there were 244 of them and the gross purchase amount that I, that I had was $2,058. So even if you look at that profit amount of $4,014, once I've been paid that $4,014, I've gone and put $2,058 back into the business. 50% of the money that I've earned, I've put back into the business. So for me personally, I will touch on that as well actually, the average purchase price was $8.54. So I bought 244 items and the average purchase price was $8.54. Last month, it was about $9.60 per item. So I've done really well this month because I've actually been able to lower my cost per unit by about a dollar which is pretty significant when you're only talking eight or $9 per item. To drop it by a dollar is quite a lot. And I talk about it in this channel quite a bit. You've really got to focus on trying to get the price down as much as you can. I talk about negotiating quite a lot. I talk about bulk buying. Whatever you can do out there to lower the price is gonna put you in a better state when it comes to actually making the profit at the end of the day. It all starts with the buying. Um, so I was happy with that, but you know, I'm, I'm currently living at home and I think I need to look to continue to live at home for another month or two with my parents, I should say, um, living at home uh, because I'm only on really about $2,000 from a pure do what you like with it type scenario once I've put two grand back into the business. So I need that $4,000 to be my own money and then I need to have an extra $2,000 somehow to put back into the business to keep it growing. So that 4,000 take home actually needs to be more like $6,000 worth of take home for me to be truly sustainable and be able to move out of home and just make it all work and operate and grow. So as you can see, while it might look great at $4,000 worth of take home pay and a $48,000 a year salary, how good's this? You do need to go back and put it back into the business. So it's just something to be aware of. Um, and unfortunately, it does take some time. You've just got to have real patience and keep plugging away and then make that decision when you, when you do hit that figure that you think you can sustainably live on long term, that's probably when you look to try and quit the job that you're doing, whether it be part-time or full-time work elsewhere as you build up your reselling um, side hustle and then obviously make it your full-time job. So 
Um, when we have another look here at the sales platforms that I used, I touched on it before and I did see a massive spike in eBay sales. Um, so eBay had 107 sales this month and last month I think it sat around 48. So I've literally more than doubled my sales on eBay in the space of just one month. And my Facebook sales, because I was putting so much time and attention into eBay, I wasn't cross-listing as much into Facebook Marketplace and it resulted in just 45 sales. But I wasn't listing as much, so to still get 45, it was a really good sort of transaction rate but that did drop from about 78. So there was about a fall there of about 30 odd sales on Facebook, but I made up for it by an increase in about 60 on eBay. So as I touch on the sales platform, what I will say about it is that buying an eBay store had a big, big play in what I've done this month. I've seen the benefit in promoting listings on eBay as well. I personally have promoted every single one of my listings at a 2% um, a two percent rate. So by doing that, it's been able to increase my impressions and a lot more people are starting to view my ads. My click-through rate has increased and my overall sales conversion rate on eBay has increased. And there's been two main aspects as to what's seen that growth for me. And it is the one, promoting my listings, but also two, doing 10 listings every single day. If I do 10 listings every single day, that works out to 300 listings for the month of November. And while that's only half of the allocation that you get given as uh, you know through having an eBay store, I still think that allows the sales to continually come in for you because eBay likes to see movement and transaction on your account. As long as you're tinkering with it every single day, it really does seem to help the eBay algorithm. I've certainly noticed it with what I've been doing over the last month. So for the month of December coming up, I really wanna to continue to place a focus on eBay more so. I really wanna to continue to try and cross list a little bit more into Facebook Marketplace because I do still see the benefit and I do predominantly wanna sell as much as I can on Facebook Marketplace because there are zero fees, but I also wanna try and buy more inventory. 244 items, I just, over the last couple of months, it's been about 220, 250 and now 240. I need to get it up to about 300. I really wanna set myself a listing goal for December to source 300 items and list 300 items. I think that'd be a really good goal for where I'm at, but I think no matter where you're at in your reselling journey, setting a goal for the month of December or setting a couple of goals, a couple of key targets is a very, very good way to get to the numbers that you're wanting to get to. So that's sort of the full rounded out numbers of how I'm tracking. I've basically earned $48,000 a year as a salary for the month of November, but then I've put half of that back into the business. So I've still got a long way to go, but I really wanted to bring you those numbers today to just highlight the fact that it is a slow process and it does take time and patience, but I'm very buoyed by the fact that it has only been three months to get to the place that I'm at today. And I'm, I can't wait for another three months to go by to see where I'm at after six months of doing this full time. So thanks very much for watching. If you do have any questions, please let me know in the comments, anything at all. I'm happy to answer any questions that you have. And like I said, I always reply to my comments. So by all means, go ahead and let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below and give the video a like if you've got anything out of it. Um, if you're trying to grow your own business as well, let me know in the comments what your biggest struggle is at the moment. Uh, because I do love to get involved and have a bit of a chat. So uh, yeah, let me know in the comments, but really do appreciate you tuning into this one, guys. I really do hope that you got a lot out of it today and it's helped motivate and inspire you uh, to keep growing your business and keep hustling hard with reselling because there is a lot of money to be made if you're doing the right things. And uh, I wish you guys all the best and I hopefully, uh, hopefully this video has helped you out. So thanks for tuning in, guys. We'll catch you in the next episode.